I'm the admissions tutor here in the School of Physics at the University of Leeds and my role is to read every single UCAS form, which is really fun, and I look for the top kind of 100 students from our 1,000 applicants who are really going to engage and take part in our course. In order to be a successful student in physics here in Leeds, especially in the first year, what people should realise is that we're in this together. It's not only that we, with our world-class facilities and our excellent staff, teaching staff, provide the students with everything they need to know to, 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 to get physics working and do it well, but it has to come from both sides. Students, if they put in the hours, then we're fairly sure they can uh, become a successful student. We select our students based on their A-level results, and we know that they're pretty stiff. We ask for A's and B's in physics and mathematics. Here at the University of Leeds, the key feature of our physics degree, I think, is that it's research focused. So we take an A-level student and we build them through the first two years so they're actually able in their third and fourth year to directly contribute to the research that happens in our research groups. My name's Tom Hartquist. I'm professor of astrophysics here. I'm obviously not from the UK from my accent and in fact one of the great things about our profession is that we get to know a lot of people in a lot of different countries and I'm fortunate to have friends in, in a number. A number. Um, okay, I came to Leeds uh, because I was attracted by the very good research standing that it had, particularly in the area in which I was working. But I was very pleased when I got here to see how well we do with students and what we provide for students. Uh, some of this is down to the people that we have here, but there are also a couple of other things that go on. Uh, one, of them, one of the great uh, characteristics of our department is that there's, uh, the academic staff offices are very close to a lot of the places where the students will be spending a lot of time. For instance, my office is right next to our largest classroom. And uh, a lot of the staff offices are right near all of these classrooms and tutorial rooms. And also we share a, a large lunch area uh, with a coffee bar with the students and that's, that's very, very good because it means, for instance, if I want to see one of my two T's and can't find them some other way is, is I go in there and buy some soup and wind up having a chat with them. And some of the students drop by my office on their way in, into lectures. Our undergraduate labs are right next to the offices and research labs of some of our academic staff, and that's, that's very fortunate for the students and for the staff as well. I think Leeds is a wonderful place to come and study or do research. I've had the chance to visit a lot of research institutes and universities around the world, and the thing that really struck me when I came to Leeds was the very positive and friendly atmosphere that I experienced in the school. The school really prides itself on having an open door policy, so students can go and knock on the doors of academics anytime they want, discuss issues of welfare, some physics that they found interesting, or maybe something that they're struggling with. And I think this fosters a really positive atmosphere in the school. Leeds does fantastic world-leading research as well as fantastic teaching, and we pride ourselves on the fact that we combine the two and we have research-led teaching. So a lot of the research that we do will feed into the lectures. So even in your first and second year, you will be exposed to some cutting edge research and get an experience of what it is to be a research scientist. Uh, the differences between high school and studying at university are, are, are pretty significant, are pretty large. Uh, for example, uh, students are now living on their own often and, and are much more in charge of their own lives, but also of their own studies. They are much more in control of their timetable, for example, uh, and, and are very responsible now for handing in their own work. Um, another difference is, for example, that they're being taught by specialists in the field, by active researchers, in, in our case, physics and astrophysics. And especially in the, the later phases of the study, the lecture courses, each and every lecture, is effectively a master class. I teach superconductivity to students in our master's programs. Uh, this is a particularly uh, exciting course to go and teach because it starts drawing in physics from all over um, the, the courses that the students have taken in previous years. So in order to understand superconductivity you need to use a bit of electromagnetism, you need to use a bit of thermodynamics, you need to use a bit of solid state physics, and you need to use quite a lot of quantum mechanics. It all comes together. And just so the astronomers don't feel left out, the theory that describes superconductivity also can be used to describe what happens on the inside of a neutron star. Which I think is utterly amazing that we can use the same physics to describe electrons moving in materials at very low temperatures to what's going on with 
in the inside of a star where the atoms have been compressed so tightly that all you're dealing with is individual neutrons. Well, Leeds prides itself as being a research-led university, and that's very much the case in the School of Physics and Astronomy. So one of the features of our degree is that all undergraduates will do a research project. And that's not just something that we've knocked up years ago and give to the same student time and time again, but it means the student actually gets embedded into one of the research groups in the School of Physics and Astronomy and actually gets involved in the research of that group doing a project. So in my group, we do both theoretical and experimental research, more theory than experiment by the staff ratio. But the projects that we offer are genuinely an involvement in one of our aspects of research. So we research in all sorts of quantum information, physics from various technologies right through to the more abstract mathematical side of it. And so a project student working with us will engage in one of those research directions. I think Leeds is a fantastic place to live and to work and to study. It's a very nice city, it's compact, it has all the amenities you could want. The campus of the university is self-contained but it's very near the city centre, so you have the experience of a campus university experience as well as being able to walk a very short distance and have all the benefits of the city nearby. My favourite thing about the University of Leeds is the campus setup. You have the library with its amazing collection of research journals, you've got the Edge sports facilities, you've got the wonderful Union, all within walking distance of the School of Physics. And even more than this, the campus itself is only one mile from the heart of the city centre.